speaking uh, for the disenfranchised, and it shaped me into the person I am today. And what I have seen in this county is that we're becoming more divided and more economically separated, and our schools are becoming more divided. And as your county executive, I really want to work to make sure that we are addressing not just down county problems, but problems all around the county. Uh, I learned when I was mayor, I did a visioning exercise. It's a little easier to do in a city of 50 plus thousand than in a county of a million. But one of the things that it showed me was you don't have the energy or the resources to address every problem effectively. So what you need to do is figure out what your top priorities are and try to get those done. I feel that I can look carefully at the issues of our school system, which I think have we, we have talked about the problems, but we've never really looked at how they operate. I think we can work to get improvements in our transportation system. And most of all, I think we can be more friendly to business and get more housing uh, development in the county, as well as more businesses will hopefully join in with our schools and, and help us make them better places. If you have a strong, thriving business community, they do that. I recently heard, in fact, that uh, Howard Hughes used to give half a million dollars to the school system just to help them uh, develop after school programs. That's the sort of collaboration that I am talking about. I am not someone who will tell you I have all the answers. I do not. I will tell you I am someone who listens carefully. I evaluate the options and I am willing to make the tough decisions. And I think having the, the leadership experience, the executive experience that I have really is different uh, than my competitors and I hope you support me for county executive. Thank you.